Meanwhile, Denver Public Schools wants to have a conversation about the role of police officers in their schools. CBS 4's Tori Mason joins us live where there was a superintendent and board members and they raised the issue. Tori. Yes, Dylan, the board members who spoke today say it's time to restructure discipline in schools so they don't have to rely on law enforcement. They want to stop the school to prison pipeline. Speakers today said students of color deserve more than handcuffs and juvenile records. The resolution calls for the Board of Education to change the role of the Denver Police Department and public schools. It also calls on DPS to revise how much money allocated for school resource officers is spent. Board members believe schools need to be armed with armed and protected with mental health resources. When it comes to safety, DPS referred to its internal security team, explaining there are people who will respond to end school situations as needed. Board Director Tay Anderson said the treatment of DPS students at peaceful protests this weekend was the straw that broke the camel's back. So as somebody who was at the protest this weekend and watched our students be innocently shot at with rubber bullets and gassed, off of the actions of others was my breaking point. We cannot look our students in the eyes and say, we believe your lives matter, but we're welcoming you with a law enforcement officer and not mental health supports, not so school social workers, not restorative justice coordinators. Now, I asked Superintendent Susanna Cordova if she's gotten any feedback on this matter, and she says there really hasn't been an opportunity to. This resolution just came about so quickly. But they will be seeking input from, from the community as they continue to um, redefine discipline in schools. They hope to vote on this matter sometime next week. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason, covering Colorado First.